Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is a slightly unusual video, one of the ones we don't kind of tend to do. We're going to have a look at one of the official modules. And because it's very nearly October and therefore we are on the run up to uh, Halloween, which for a lot of us is a spooky time. And so we're going to look at a house divided. So uh, you can see that that's what you're looking at right now. This is an official module released by the Foundry team um, and it's uh, obviously D&D 5e because that's what we look at and you've probably all heard of it but maybe you've not looked at it and we were just thinking that this is the time of year where this is exactly the kind of, sh I won't say one shot because it's longer than that, um, but short adventure series that you might want to run over the October, over the Halloween season. Um, so the good time to have a look and yes it is still September at the moment when I'm doing this but if you do decide to go ahead and do this then you're going to want some prep time and everything else so <laughs> there's no point in me doing this at the end of end of October and going right okay you've got two days if that's what you want to do get going so uh, yeah but just gonna have a little look at this and what actually it is because it's pre-built for us and everything else now caveat really important caveat this is in no way shape or form sponsored uh, I don't get paid for this I have not been asked to do this for favors for anybody except channel members um, so Michael Stout one of our channel members has this and he's been using it and he's been looking at it he's really excited about it uh, and he wanted he wanted me to share this with you guys because this is potentially a great thing for you so we're at the main foundry page here you can just google foundry our house divided and you'll find it really really easy or you can go to foundry.com uh, sorry foundryvtt.com uh, and look at their packages um, there is a cost associated with this we'll get to that in a moment so just on this front page here um, you can see it's got a whole bunch of information about let's try and zoom in a bit here for you um, so you can pause and read this uh, original adventure okay um, provides a party starting at fifth level with over 100 hours of gameplay concluding at level 10 now <laughs> over 100 hours of gameplay every group is different <laughs> every adventure goes differently so that's a very very loose figure to work with some parties will be much quicker than others you know there's i can there's certainly parties i can think of that would take oh if it says 100 hours it's going to take them two or three because that's just the way that they go um, loads of stuff that's included here so and we're going to have a look at some of this stuff we've got some footage of um, from Michael of stuff where he's actually purchased it so we can have a slightly closer look at some of the things obviously with not giving anything away uh, this is to uh, inform you whether you want to go and purchase and run this for yourself this is not about giving anything away um, at, you know <laughs> no, no copyright infringements and stuff like that but fair use uh, we're just doing a show and tell um i and also i've not actually got a copy of this i might do but as you're probably aware i'm in the middle of curse of strad at the moment that's going to take quite a long time um i'm not going to be running multiple or too many games simultaneously i just don't have the time to do it as much as i would like to so uh, you've probably had a chance to pause and read any of that that you want to. They have got some video previews here, though. They've got a teaser um, and teaser two. That's what they've done. And they've got some beautiful screenshots here to give you an idea of, you know, the artwork that they've got for some of their tokens and some of the maps and things. We're going to look a little bit more in depth than that, though. Um, and you can see the kind of things that this is inspired by. Hound of the Baskervilles, um, Pan's Labyrinth, the Penny Dreadful. Um, some of those might be familiar to you. It gives you an idea. They haven't put Curse of Strahd there, but it's very much that thematic kind of area as well. That absolutely could go on that list, I, I believe, from what I've seen. So, as I mentioned, this is a paid module. Okay, It is an official module. Um, 32 quid so in british pounds whatever that is in um in us dollars that's going to be what 40 about 44 something like that us dollars at the moment it is not a cheap module um and this is one of the reasons why i have not purchased it is because that is not cheap however what do we actually get for this because that's what's really important so that's what we're going to do we're going to flip over and we're going to have a look at some of the insides of it 
Uh, <laughs> My phrasing is odd. <laughs> We're going to go look at some insides of it. Uh, and you can make your own mind up whether you think that is worth the money. I think it probably is from what I've seen. But I've probably got a bit more disposable income than some people out there. It might be out of people's price range. So let's switch over and have a little look. So first of all, we can see that we've got some ex extensive journals here that are beautifully laid out giving you everything that you need to uh, guidance for getting started so it's not just the locations and things uh, and you can hear the music in the background um, it should come through okay on the video um, that's built into it some atmospheric sounds and things so it's a very complete module it's not just here's a bunch of maps we're going to charge you a small fortune for them this is where the money goes it's into writing all of this stuff out making sure it all works creation of the artwork and things milestone advancement it's taking you through so you see the level six through to ten there all of the well there's three acts you to the early mid and late game um, we've got all of those links in there you can see there we've got the overview we've got the different quests we've got the different events um, that's all in here some beautiful artwork that all pops out the whole thing is beautifully constructed certainly much nicer than anything i throw together but of course a lot of stuff i run i've got a separate module so i don't need to bring it all into the journal here the journal is giving you everything you need for the module and and look it's just everything you've got sound right there so the arcane wraith encounter there's some sound effects right there in the journal for you to be able to play. Now, how you choose to run that, because of the, you probably want the journal open all of the time. Um, one nice way to get around that might be to have two logins. So you have your, you're logged into Foundry as your game master running the game, and then you're also logged in like a player does using the link and in your second screen, have it as your second GM where you've got the journal. Um, so if you've got that dual screen set up, you can have that journal in one window purely for working through um, and following these links and stuff. But you can see everything you possibly could need is in here. Uh, and it's all beautifully linked using those wonderful journal links. Uh, you can see there's dice rolls linked in there, um, you know, the descriptive stuff. Uh, yeah, you've got the links to the scenes. Um, bumped straight through, so uh, link into this particular quest. Uh, how to run that quest, um, some descriptive things, etc. So it is really, really nicely put together from that point of view. It's very detailed, everything you need. You don't need anything outside of this. Uh, and of course, because it is um, a foundry based one, you don't need loads of extra additional modules and stuff installed. In fact, I don't think you need any additional modules installed to run this. You might choose to do. Um, just looking at some of the playlist stuff here now, you can see something terrible happened here. Um, haunted Mansion music. You've got lots of sound effects, lots of background music, music and stuff. I don't tend to use it too much myself, but it's all here if you want to use it. Everything you could want. Uh, and as you can see, Ominous Feeling Overwhelms. You just saw there, there's a link to a particular sound. It's in the journal, in the location. So you don't have to go running off to try and hunt where is the right sound effect for this. There we go, a haunted library. The music is right there for you. As they walk into that room, bam, you flip to that journal page, everything you need right there, uh, which is good. So Swamp Appearance, yeah, so it talks about those. Now let's have a little look at the maps. Um, and you, we can start to see what they are like. Uh, you can see that uh, we're going to scroll out again in a moment here, but you can see that these maps are fully crafted, everything you need, and there are lots of icons on the maps that actually help you as the DM to run this. So at the top of the screen, you can see two up arrows. Well, they're the links to go upstairs in the manor. Um, so every location has a link through to the journal. Um, which you can click on. It takes you straight to the correct journal page. There we go. We're just going to go uh, up there, up to the second floor, uh, and we can move around these corridors. We've got all of our doors, our walls, our lighting. Everything is done for us. This is out of the box, um, just to make that really clear. This, unlike me spending hours putting 
the uh, the maps and things together, which I really enjoy doing. Um, this is all done for you. There we go. There's an example of clicking on that location for the northern courtyard, uh, clicking on that icon in the middle of the fountain there, and it just pops up straight away to give you that description, talks about what goes on there, etc. Of course, that doesn't take away from your DM need to prep your adventure and read through and understand what's happening, um, but it's all kind of there. Now, what's really interesting about House Divided, it's the same house, but it appears in in, like different planes of existence I think is is actually how it works so you end up with the same map but themed in different ways depending on which plane they're on when they're in the house so consider that that house exists in multiple dimensions and you can be in those different dimensions in the house uh, so you have to work your way through the different areas and things even though the maps the same the encounters change um, and when Michael was taking me through this, the, the, the thing that sprang to mind was to film The Shining with the, the, the idea of this haunted house with all of these things going on. We don't want to give away the plot line too much. You can go and read that plot line actually on the, um, on the summary and things. Um, but it's a really interesting concept that you're stuck in one location, but the location moves throughout the different planes or dimensions. Uh, which is really nice and uh, yeah so uh, the, the like glittering gold there we go we got some more why did it have to be spiders we've got the arachnid combat so again very specific sounds for not just the combat sound but if we're fighting these beasties um, we've got a particular set of music and things like that so it's quite an extensive library and i think the thing to remember is yes this is not a cheap module but once you've got that module, you've also got access to those sounds, those tokens and everything else that you might choose to use in your own adventures and things that you've created. So we've just flipped over here to the Planar Sanctum, so another location here. So you can see on the right hand side there where we've got the different scenes, a uh, house divided, but we've also got like the, uh, the Shade Ward Manor, the Fey Ward Manor, the Ruined Manor. So we've got lots of different versions of the same uh, scenes, if you like, as they travel through these different planes. So there we go, a relatively quick little overview of, of what you actually get, what it looks like inside the packet. Because we all know that this blurb is going to be encouraging us to purchase a package, an adventure in this particular case. Um, but that's not necessarily telling us or ask, answering the questions that we have about what's actually in it. This, the, these are marketing videos. They want you to buy it. Of course they do. Um, but I hope that gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of a view under the hood of what it actually looks like, what you actually get for your money, um, and inspires you. You know, you know, might not be saying this might not be for you for your party, or it may be without outside of your price range. Um, but it gives you an idea of how you could uh, structure your own adventures, something you could do instead. And of course, if you do choose to go and buy it, brilliant. I hope you have a great time with it. Um, and it'd be really interesting if you've already run this, drop in the comments, let other people know how it went. Was it, re was it as fun as it looks like it is? Um, or did you encounter any weirdness of, of like, this didn't make sense, I had to jury rig this or I had to rewrite this bit for my party? Not necessarily because the original adventure didn't work, but your, your party's different. Your party's unique um, with its own players, with its own selection of spells, doing weird things that kind of potentially cheat the system, which happens a lot, especially as characters get more powerful. So, yeah, what do you think? Would you, would you run this? Um even if you can't afford to run this, would you run this if you had the choice? Um, and if you have run it, yeah, what did you think? Yeah, let us know in the comments. And uh, a huge shout out, shout out to Michael for uh, sharing this with us. Um, he spent some time with us 
um, taking us through, walking us through, providing some of that footage that you saw uh, so that we could actually have a proper little look under the hood uh, and get excited about it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's on my list to run at some point. But again, Curse of Strade is going to take a while. Um, I am looking at starting potentially a, a new group for some very, very new players. I've got a few people knocking on my door, <laughs> sort of saying, can you run us a game we've never played before? Um, so uh, maybe, maybe, you know, um, I'll start them off on something nice and easy, Fandelva or Stormwreck Isle, and then maybe we'll end up doing something like House Divided just to show them a different type of game um, that is uh, thematically very different because uh, we all know that um, as, as always leave a comment if there's things that you want to see you've got questions about stuff um, I can't promise to be able to do loads of reviews of loads of different modules and stuff but if you've got particular things you're going I'm thinking about buying and I'm not too sure um, and you want to have a little overview of more than happy to do that um, assuming it doesn't uh, take too much money out of my pocket to do so because uh, <laughs> it costs me more to run this channel than I make from it that's by a long shot uh, but thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next one.